And now that we collected all this data and got a basic understanding of how the system works, I would say a good educated guess would be that that thermostat is stuck open or somebody removed it. However, I'm betting that it's probably stuck open. So let's drain some coolant from the system and pull that thermostat. Okay guys, I know it's going to be a little hard to see, but as you can hear, the coolant draining into a pan. Do I get a good shot? I got that pep talk open. I'm just going to take the coolant level down to where it's below that thermostat housing. And then we're going to open that thermostat housing up. Okay, so now that I believe I got the coolant level down to an acceptable level, I closed the pepcock. I'm going to take and remove the thermostat housing. As you can see, it has a stud with a ground wire. So I'm going to remove that nut, remove the ground wire, then remove that stud. And then there's one more stud in the back. And that allows us to lift that thermostat housing up with the upper right ear of your hose still attached. It's a 9 16 Okay, this stud's a half inch or 13 millimeter. I'll fetch that stud with the magnet. Okay. Now I'm going to treat to see how close I was. Okay guys, so the first thing I noticed when I removed that thermostat housing, I just want you to see it before I remove it, in case it releases, that if you noticed, it's open. So that was a pretty good educated guess. That thermostat, I believe, is somewhere around 185, 195, and there's no way that thing should be open right now. I want to be able to touch it at that temperature. So I'm going to take and pop that thermostat out and put it on a bench. That way you guys can get a better look. Ugh. Okay, she's out. Now let's go over to the bench and look at it. Okay guys, so if you come over here, I'm on the bench and as you can see this thermostat is cold and it's stuck open. And what that's doing is allowing the coolant to circulate through the entire system including the radiator before it's at operating temperature, which I believe this is supposed to be a 195 but it's not indicated on the thermostat. But the replacement one I got here is a fail safe and it called for a 195 for this application. And the fail safe simply means that if it fails it will stick in the open position like this one did and allow the coolant to circulate without overheating the engine. But as you can see it's completely shut. You got this little hole here to bleed the air out. However, the main port for that thermostat is closed. So this one will allow the temperature to build up in the engine, get up to operating temperature, 195. This will open, allow the coolant to circulate, and continue that cycle. And no matter what I do here, I can't get that thermostat to close so I'm not really sure what's going on there but it's definitely stuck open okay so let's prove this theory and install this thermostat and see what happens so just make sure everything's clean and as you've seen the whole gasket slash o-ring whatever you want to call it was replaced with the thermostat so it came out as one assembly so I'm going to take and install the new one like so. Let's see everything's clean here. Install the thermostat housing. You got these two studs. As you see, this one's all rusty. This one's clean, so this is the one that had the nut on it. I'm just going to put it back in the same manner. I'm just going to run it down snug with this impact. I'm going to 
to use my, my ratchet to tighten it. And you're going to want to torque it to specs. However, like I said, I got a pretty good feel for it. Reinstall that ground strap. I got this nut. It's a 9 16 Make sure it's nice and tight. That's a ground strap for ECM. Okay, let's top it back off the coolant. Okay, you can hear my torpedo heater going in the background. Now that the thermostat's reinstalled, I'm going to take and top it off with coolant. Now this vehicle uses Dex Cool. However, Presto makes it 50-50 for all colors, all makes, all models. Demonstration, you don't want to pour like this. Because what happens is, you'll get air pockets inside the jug and it'll keep burping. And it'll just keep on burping out, making a mess. If you hold the jug like this, it'll come out slow. And you'll have this big open air valley in the top, which will allow the fluid to flow out nice. You know it's green, it has to be worried, but you see what it says, right? All makes, all models, all cars. Add to any color antifreeze. So. Stone, I'm going to take your word for it. see already our intake air temperature is 59 our cooling temperature is already at 140 so it's doing its job okay guys that looks like a fix I'm pretty happy with what I see so far. 